Now, the nakshatras, or the lunar mansions, are not a division of the ecliptic. They're a division of the stars, the stellar sphere. So the thing that's really interesting is although the path of the sun, which is the ecliptic, moves north to south over the course of the year, the path of the stars rotates east and west. Now that can seem confusing because if you're at the equator, it will actually appear like stars go north and south of the equator, but that's just because of the Earth being tilted on its axis. So the movement of the stars is more of an east and west movement. So you have to really understand these two things as two separate divisions of the sky. There's the division of the stars, and there's the division of the path of the sun. So what the sidereal zodiac does is it takes that ecliptic and it maps it onto the stellar sphere to try to approximate a matching with the actual constellations that are connected to Aries, Taurus, Gemini, etc.